Hello there all, welcome back to Yo Sakura. In this video, I want to introduce you to a new tutorial I've created and um, I just want to give you a heads up. So first off, let me first start by actually apologizing to all of you for the late video uploads because i am uh, just been too busy with projects and um, life in general and I just don't have the time to make these free tutorials all the time. So anyway, now I've come up with a new idea on the kind of tutorial I want to do which is this Rubik's Cube which is a pretty cool idea which I think is a very cool idea. I'm going to show you how to model it, how to jumble, shuffle it, create different shaders and uh, create different render nodes and even composite it. So the entire tutorial is in three parts. So let's just uh, have a simple breakdown on all the things you could expect in here. So first step, uh, what you could expect in this tutorial is um, this Rubik's Cube. I'm going to show you how to model it. I'm not going to go too deep and show every single thing a node could do, but I'm just going to tell you why I'm doing those things using those specific nodes. So once we are done modeling the actual cube, I'm going to show you how to create a special node which is going to help you actually jumble the whole thing on its own. Like you're not telling the computer, you're not selecting the faces and rotating them on your own. The computer is doing it for you. So you can have a lot more control. For example, now you can see it takes about five frames starting from second to six to actually complete a full rotation. That is given over here five frames per rotation. I could tell no, take 10 frames per rotation. So now the entire rotation is slower. So I have controls which tell me how exactly the cube is supposed to work. I'm going to show you how to create this. Then after we create this, uh, I'm also going to show you how we are going to go ahead and create a special shader. So I'm going to talk about the special environment shader which I pretty much end up using almost all the time whether or not if I'm compositing in Houdini. This is like a master shader I try to use so, which uh, gives me several passes which are very useful. So I'm going to show you how exactly I can create this. Apart from it, I'm going to show you how we can set up a couple of render nodes and render options. Also I'm going to talk about cameras, setting up camera details and how to create a visual effects composite. So for that once our images are rendered, I'm going to show you how to actually create a composite right here in Houdini. You can see that this composite is happening right here. It's not something I've done in Nuke. So a lot of stuff to learn and um, stuff which I personally find very intriguing. So I hope you guys are uh, also interested in learning these things. As always, if you get any critics, doubts, suggestions, anything at all you want to tell me, just put them in the comment section or you could also mail me and I'll definitely respond back to you. So now let's go ahead and start with understanding the exact kind of cube I'm trying to model and see how to go from there. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.